All right, so in this DIY Nate video, um, I'm actually gonna show you how to use the claw end of a hammer here. And let's see if I can get my hammer out of the, or my hand out of the picture. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to use a hammer with the claw in uh, to remove some nails. Um, this is also, um, you're gonna see me doing this uh, in kind of effort to recycle uh, some wood here. Um, so again, apologies for the, uh, the video, but what I'm doing, I'm taking some old pickets uh, that have, uh, or spindles that have been on a deck that needed to get torn down. And so what I'm trying to do is I wanna use these uh, spindles again for other work. Um, spindles usually don't take nearly as much abuse uh, in the, uh, the, you know, in the run uh, as the, the boards that take on direct, uh, direct hit from um, water and other stuff. So in the spirit of keeping a, you know, a sustainable environment and using wood over and over again, I, I like to take out nails, and so what you're going to see right here is um, with these spindles, I've actually hit the nails out from the back end, pounded them through, and then I'm using the claw hammer uh, to extract the nails. And it's just a pretty, uh, you know, a lever function where you take this and you simply, you know, take the, uh, the nail and you, you pull it out. And it comes out nice and easily, and then I simply just drop that off, and that spindle is now clear of all the uh, nails that are in there. So if you watch again, um, the claw hammer uh, is, is a great thing for this sort of thing. And you'll also see, you can actually straighten up nails um, that are bent and crooked using the claw. Um, and this, uh, this wedge uh, in the middle um, can be really helpful for uh, pulling out and straightening up um, nails. So in this case, you use that simple lever function, you pop it out and then you do that again, you know, and just like that, you're taking uh, the old nails out and you're making this wood essentially usable again. These are great for projects. If you check out some of my other DIY Nate videos, uh, a lot of the, I'm gonna call it uh, kid furniture that I build uh, using a you know, circular saw or a uh, miter saw or whatnot. I like to use these uh, little one by one spindle pieces because uh, it makes good legs. It's a small, fun um, you know, small item. Uh, you can also replace spindles on, um, I have some rental properties I use. This can be a good way to um, replace, uh, you know, those existing spindles. Usually they make a pretty standard size for them and then you can cut them down. So I've got hundreds, of, not hundreds, I probably have 20, 30 of these uh, spindles to work my way through and I'm just gonna strip them out. They probably cost about two bucks a piece, maybe a dollar depending on what you're, uh, what, where you're buying from and what time of year. But, um, you know, for me, uh, having this extra wood around, I don't like to have to trash this stuff and just throw it in the dump. A lot of contractors, people who do, big time, uh, you know, work, they'll just throw this stuff away because it's, it doesn't make sense for them to spend their time pulling nails. But for somebody like me, a DIY, you know, fix it person, uh, taking the nails out, using my claw hammer for that, um, and stripping the wood off, uh, and, and being able to recycle and reuse it, uh, something I try to, try to use, uh, pretty regularly. I do that with a lot of other stuff too. You know, I'll take apart, uh, you know, old things like uh, an example, I uh, took down a light recently. I uh, had some uh, ballasts uh, inside it. Um, I stripped the wire out and put the ballasts uh, back together so that if one of my other fluorescent lights goes bad, I can repurpose the uh, existing ballast that I had that was good in the old light. So I try to do a lot of that uh, just to keep stuff out of the landfill and also to save me a few bucks. Um, and also I enjoy these kind of DIY projects and knowing how stuff works. Um, so again, simple uh, you know lever functionality here. Um, you know, the claw hammer operates itself as a lever. You simply just take it. Here's a good example of a nail that's not straight. So I'll straighten it up with the claw and I'll pop it out. And, uh, you know, I'm not so bad that I actually use these nails again. <laughs> I do, uh, I do trash these or recycle them. Um, but, uh, the wood, you know, certainly can be used for other little projects, um, for sure. So with that, um, very simple video here, but I thought, uh, you know, for people who aren't familiar with how to use a hammer or the claw in, what that's for, uh, this is a good example of that. And then also, uh, just showing you, you know, how you can use some, uh, some wood for, uh, repurposed purposes. So, uh, very basic for, for most viewers, but, uh, for those of you who are trying to get a little more handy, it's a very simple process and project. So enjoy.